Opening the box. Opening the box. Guess what? I got my tower garden. My friend and I, Kim, are going to put it together. We are so excited, aren't we? We are excited. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So we will um, let you in on the journey. Open in the box. Open in the box. We're making homemade pizza. We're using a cassava. We're using cassava flour, and the recipe is just um, three fourths cup of cassava flour. It's blurry. One a fourth teaspoon sea salt, two tablespoons olive oil and a third of a cup warm water. So, we sometimes you have to add more water. We'll probably do that. But, and then we'll show you what to do next. So right here we decided to put some tapioca flour and um, coconut flour and some other things. But after we ate it, we decided that next time we would just do the cassava flour for the flour, nothing else. We are adding a little bit more flour and making it a little more doughy instead of soggy. <laughs> And we're kind of adjusting it by adding different things. And then we're going to roll it up and roll it out and roll it. I don't think it's going to be rolled. Oh, yeah. It might just be needed. <laughs> and might just make a... then we're going to do something else. I don't know what yet, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so we just kind of flattened out the bread. And we're putting oil on the grill stove thing. I don't know how this is going to work. But it's going to be a little sticky. Yeah. But it's going to be good. It's going to be delicious, except mm -hmm. for it's falling apart. <laughs> okay. Now that's going to be one pizza. Oh, my. That's going to be a good pizza. And it's going to work out good. Will you go move all that stuff out of Thanks for getting the water, Landy. Guess what? I had to come over here and 
eats her hay, and then she comes right by her hay and she poops. <laughs> like she wants to eat her poop or something. So, we had a plan. So we're going to put um, these little mineral holders up here. But the chickens roost here. So we had to put this board so that the roost, so that the chicken's poop doesn't fall into the mineral bucket. And what's funny about that is we have mineral buckets over there. And guess what? Two chickens who usually roost in the chicken house decided they were going to come over here and roost. And guess where they roosted? Right on top of the minerals. <laughs> Ta Kiwi, are you ready to go in? Where is Kiwi? I don't see her. By Kion? Huh? Yes. Okay. So I guess Kiwi's ready to come in. She's whining. <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll get this cleaned up and then put those on there. We got to get inside though because Hermana is not feeling well. So we got to go help Hermana. Keters is ready. She came in here to visit and she's got to go back. Oh. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. I would put that on this side and the boards on the other side. Because it, it, one, it'll look better, and two, it'll work just the same and better. No, it's not going to work. I need one here. It would be Where's better. I'm just trying. This would be better what? It would be better for the... Tugs, get back that other side to be there so it'd be just a wall of the stuff so it wouldn't be so plain. So I just need to screw that in there. It's already over there. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter that much, does it? It would look better. I don't care about public. It's in right now. Alright, so um, we have to finish this later. we got to go help our mom. And i got to go shut that thing over there real quick. And then we'll come back and resume our idea. You're doing it, Rylan. Uh, you got it. <laughs> look at that. Wow, look at you. Good job. <laughs> Look at that. Tuck's got her cuddle on um, Instagram stories. You get a slide? Here he comes. Whoa. That was fun. You want to see Auntie do it? Here goes Auntie. Yeah. Yeah, I got that for you when you were. You gonna do it again? Hold on, wait a minute, let Graham help you. Let's watch Auntie for a minute. And then Graham will come get you. I can, I can climb down. Yeah. Hold on, he's going up. And you know okay, I, climb up. You know I can go down the slide, so I'm gonna Okay, I'm gonna, Bye. I'm gonna stop. Wait, wait, Ryland, hold on just a minute. Whee! Good job. Good job, good job. <laughs> Ta da! 
ready. So it's my job to make sure the chicks have food and water, nice, clean, fresh food and water. And me and mom, um, we're in here looking at the chicks one day, and we realized that, where is he? He's the smallest one. Where is he? Alright, maybe he's all there. But anyway, smallest one in there. Oh, probably that one. That small little guy. He, um, I think, we think the others laid on him. Oh yeah, he's still doing it a little bit. And his neck got sideways. And, 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 we looked at it and it started getting better. And all of a sudden, he just looked, I don't know if he was sleeping or, I don't know if he was sleeping or what, but he was just really, um, like his eyes were closed and stuff. But then we uh, said a prayer and we were, um, you know, trying to help him. We were holding him and stuff. And then all of a sudden we put him down and he just got up and walked around and was eating and stuff. Oh yeah, and mom did uh, deep tissue on him. And basically just kind of going like this and um, really soft and just kind of getting the scar tissue out. Whoops. And anyways, then now he's just walking around and his head's almost straight. And he's getting better. So now, let's do the food and water. And while I'm doing this, and after I do this, we're going to finish the chores in, on our homestead. Keaters. What are you looking for? There was a bunny in there, wasn't there? Yeah, that's the one he latest got. Oh, looks like Nineveh's saying. So last night. No. All right, let me start that over because I. <laughs> okay, so last night, Nineveh and Elatus were in here. And I noticed that Elatus had a little baby bunny. It's not ours. It's not ours. It was a wild bunny. And he was walking around with it and he took Elatus it. Elatus is the gray one. The, the yeah. white. The white. The Siamese. The Siamese. And so he brought it over here to the hay and it got lost in the little um, it got lost in the hay. So I moved the hay, I spread that out, and I moved the hay this way, and Nineveh, the, brown one, that's right by the one on the left, this one, I, oh, that doesn't work very good, does it? Right there. <laughs> anyway, he stole the bunny, and he laid us, the other one, didn't even know that he stole it. And so... Elatus caught the bunny, and Nineveh ate the bunny. Yay, Nineveh. <laughs> and Rafiki and Elatus and Nineveh are just having a little heyday right now. Heyday, ha ha, no part, pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the gray and white one on the right, all the way to the right is Rafiki. Here's Keters. Do you know Keters? All right, so let's go figure out what else we can get into. Hey, Kai. Look at Kai. <laughs> okay, guess what, everybody? Okay, so we 
I've got a couple of projects going. We've got the tower garden and we've got the little bins for the baby goats. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back and and um, and the, and get show you more about the tower garden. We got to put the seeds in there and the water and um, show you how each seed and everything goes in each little compartment. And then we're going to come back and do the goat the little goat trays and do that project. And we're going to start the spring garden. And then we're going to, let's see, is there anything else we're going to do? Can you think of anything, Landy? Mm -mm. Okay. All right, so that's it.